Hey you guys and welcome back to another plant tour video with me Thang. I know I've been missing for quite a while. Um, a lot of real life things happen. I got eye surgery done. I got corrective eye surgery done. So we'll talk about that in another video. And then um, the pre-orders are all done and stuff. Uh, we actually this year we sent out a lot of plants. So all those are done. So I guess uh, we're going to show you the tour because this year there's my mom's face is huge if you've seen it on Instagram and Facebook. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you stuff. Okay, so we usually start from this side, as you can see. My mom's side with her vegetables is like spectacular this year. This year she decided not to do the domes, you know, so now it's out in the open. Um, and it's there's a lot of stuff I'll go through. Okay, so this year, um, if you remember, if you've been here before that I usually have this shelving unit on this side, right? But this year we decided to move this side so that it gets a little bit more sun. And also not just that, but it creates a little, it gives us a little bit more space, right? So usually my mom like fries stuff out here so it doesn't smell in our apartment. And then, you know, I can stay here and do some exercise as well. Jiggling, like, what, what, oh, I, I, what, what do I do? Oh, I jump rope here. I jump rope here as well. Anyways, um, this year, I've drilled some holes in the wall, brick wall, to put some hangers because the gust does get sun here, right? So might as well take advantage of that. I might do another hole right here and just hang another one right down there. But yeah, that and then we can also hang some more basket up here as well, right? But on this side, it is just our tropicals, well my tropicals anyways, sorry about that. So this is just my tropicals. I think it just rained last night because you can see the water. So a lot of it is alicosias. And I really like alicosias because they're super easy. Even if like they rot on the way, you know, when you import it, as long as the bulb is intact, it, it just grows, right? So this, I don't remember the name of it, but I really love the texture of it. Uh, this alicosia hasn't sprouted, but the bulb is still fine. So we'll leave it alone. Picked some tricolor, it's still here. Um, this is a variegated ZZ plant. It has a little nice stem coming out right now. We'll see if it is actually variegated. If it is, I'll just sell it off, you know, right? And again, the black, black uh, ZZ plants as well. You got some um, Anthuriums uh, crystallis. Uh, I got a jewel orchid this year. This was like at $12.99 at Sheridan Nursery, so I just bought it there. And then you got some of these ones. Look at that, look at that cream color from this this uh, this vine. I don't remember the name. I don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you got another variegated stem CZ plants right here that I propagated because it was like looking bad, so I just cut it off. Right, and then Skidipus, silver clouds right here. Look how big and beautiful that is. It's pretty nice. And then I got some begonias because these look like ice. Right, so I got some begonias this year as well, and then I got um, the Alicosa cupre here and Infernus as well. And you got some aloes, aloe veras, right? And the rest of us is just a storage on this side, you know. This is my mom's garden of death, she just takes whatever and puts it in here and see if it survives. So she has like she takes the strings of pearls, look at it, it looks so good. It looks so good, right? And then, she loves these, but I guess they're out of season now. Anyways, so let's check up on her vegetables. Look how big that is. It is huge, right? It's huge. So we got, um, out there, we have some, what is this called? Something, gra lemongrass, we have lemongrass. We have celery right next beside it. We have uh, peppermint. We have some hot peppers that unfortunately I don't eat because I'm not I, I'm, I'm, I'm into spicy food but not like super spicy you know I'm into that burnt feeling but not like I need to drown my mouth in milk and water or cut out my tongue kind of feeling you know what I mean anyway and then she got more herbs here and then this I don't know what this is but I love the little bloom bloom pods that it has it's so cute it's so cute right it's so cute, um, but we use the leaf for a stew or soup. That's what she uses it for. So it's a gigantic pot. 
So this year, you know, we've been we've been harvesting a lot of the vegetables um, to make soup and stuff, which is great. And then she got her regular dragon fruit, whatever. Um, and then there is a this is another alicosia, but we use this as for the sweet and sour soup. Love it. Sometimes you add some shrimp in it. It does definitely does have pineapple. Uh, sometimes you add like pork or beef or uh, tofu. And we've got also more lemongrass out there, more peppermints and mints. We got like, um, what is this? Green onions, green onions right here as well, right? And then we got, this is my favorite. These are called fish tails. They're very tardy. I love them. So we got them out here this year as well. And then my friend gave me, <coughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> my friend gave me a variegated version of the fishtail, so it's growing as well. So that's cool. And everything underneath it is just storage. Storage space. Nothing particular for you to see. Storage space. Oh, this is this is the um, this what is this? This is the bell pepper that we have. Um, she harvested a lot of them already. They gave us a lot this year. And then she has her sad, sad Thanksgiving cactus. And we have also the variegated one as well. So yeah, storage down here for her. This is where she puts her water. Um, so that way she can water her plants later on the day. Okay, and now this side is my side. Yay! So this side, um, if you've watched the, uh, the video where I brought my plants outside, um, this year I opted to use the domes again, of course. Uh, I switched the what, the plastic to 6 mil plastic, so you can find those on, at your regular Home Depot, Home Hardware, or even on Amazon, right? And now this year, if you notice, it looks more spacious because I've actually cut out one of the panels. So there should be like two panels here, like so there should be another panel here to support it. But this year, because my mom wasn't using the domes, um, I decided to test out the dome here to cut out this panel right here. Because before there was used to be right like, one big huge like obstruction right here. So when you sit down, <clears throat> you can't see anything. You can't see here. So now I removed it and it was fine. It was like super windy and it held up. So it's fine. So I removed that and now it gives us a bigger it looks much much more spacious it's like an open concept right it's an open concept um, so yeah it looks more spacious than before um, but also this year <clears throat> I did buy some balcony hangers see right there balcony hangers and I also cut out an opening to the domes uh, to also protect them so we have even more space which is really great um, so there is actually a microclimate here, so the, out here gets a lot of sun, like a lot of sun versus in here where it gets less sun. So anything that is a summer grower that loves a lot of sun, I put out there, especially the Echeverias. I haven't seen them in a while, but they look spectacular out there. Or anything that changes color with a lot of light and heat, I put it out there, right? So more of the winter growers like to the closer to me versus like out there where it's like more, more sun. But yeah, it's not neat. I have another one out there too. Okay, so <clears throat> let's check out my plants. My plants. You guys remember the Krasla uh, ripple jade leaf? Yep, it's huge this year. I cut it down. Now it looks all super full, which is great. So this is a what is Echeveria sea dragon? It's either a sea dragon or a Virginia Lee. Either or, I really love it because it's really nice and huge. Um, we got a Monda Denium Rebellium, right? This is a new item this year from the pre-order. It's spectacular. I love, I love it. It's a very, it's a huge codex plant, so the leaves are super cute, right? And then I got a uh, Superbum Silverbum right there, Silver Variegata, right there. It's hard for me to show you, but it's, there's one, there's one of the forms. This is a Euphobia, what is this? Uni, Unispa, Unispa. I just got it from Cristo. And there's a baby coming out. There's a spiral cactus on that side, if you can see it, right? And then uh, there's these two special variegated Haworthias. Very nice. This is a sea dragon right here. 
this is a sea dragon. Um, I always have to have a sea dragon. This is my prized possession aloe. It's called an aloe pisonii. I've been looking for it for about two years. And I found one. <clears throat> I found one. Um, I found somebody who was willing to sell it to me and send it to me. Yup. I got this too. Don't know what it's called. Um, there's a bunch of things. I don't remember the name for it. But look, here's a variegated silver bu uh, super superbum. And out here, I just have my usual, you know, Haworthia, Gasteria. I put them out here so that way they get a lot more sun, so that way it changes colors. So, so this is a Aloe Midformis Vergata. Very beautiful, isn't it? Very beautiful. And that's an Aloe over there. That is an Aloe, um, what is it called? Green and gold. Very, very beautiful. That turns super, super red and orange if you stop watering in the heat. Like, super. Right, and here are my favorite Haworthia type of plants that I love collecting. These are the hard leaf ones. They look like coral, they look like tentacles, you know. So you got a Limifolia variegata, Radula variegata, uh, Semiglaba, no sorry, I think this is called Longista variegata, Pomilla variegata, uh, Limifoli ex fasciata variegata, Rinwaldi variegata, fasciata variegata, and hybrid variegata, which is really cool. I collect, I only collect those type of Haworthias, not the other ones, not the window ones. I love these ones. They look amazing, don't they? <clears throat> don't they? And then out here, I don't know if I can show you very well, but out here you have the crassulas, the other stuff, the other stuff, and the other stuff. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's like the other stuff, the other stuff, other stuff, okay. Anyways, and then you got Gasterias as well, right? Okay, so you got that. Um, what is this one called? Sorry, the one. This is called a Circeus uh, uh, Peruvius Monstrous Vergata. Yeah, that, that one. And then I got a bunch of aloes here. So these aloes are TCT and LP hybrids and also Kelly Griffins and Dick Wrights. I don't know all the name to it because it just looks nice to me. Um, but I do know this is a TCT Inferno. TCT either, I think this is a the Blue Angel or Blue Centipede, this one. This is a Vit, no, this is a Bright Amber, very, very beautiful, right? Um, this one's an LP hybrid, I don't know what it's called. Uh, this is a red, TCT Red, do something here as well. Don't know the full name because sometimes it's there's no name there's just like numbers uh this is a portalaka uh had a mystery a new one came in this year very beautiful mine's just starting to root so it looks kind of like blah at the moment give it a few more a few more days it'll come up and uh, this is a aloe cv vito very beautiful this is a hoodia uh this is a something something x hybrid don't remember but yeah that's my aloe collection is very very beautiful aloe collection and down here it's just storage storage for like uh, new plants that come in that's uh, rooting because you shouldn't put them in full sun or full heat when they're rooting um, it does get like dapple sunlight or peekaboo sunlight right so I put them down here so that way it gets a better chance of rooting cool temperatures you know just optimal temperatures optimal light enough life for them to root and so they root really fast down here I don't think there's anything to see down here uh, oh these are Sean's he has to come pick them up oh, this is my Aeonium Medusa different than at the Aeonium Festivus and Mardi Gras because this sorry sorry about that the leaves of these ones are round okay round anyways oh and this is a Peperomia something the variegated one that came in as well it came in and it didn't lose all its leaves so it's super happy about that and this is my aloe what is this aloe uh bookcase aloe or mustache aloe i got that i love the aloes like oh dang i know i know i know okay and this this is one of my euphobia lactia white ghosts i got this last year as like a tiny little thing look how big is this that is beautiful it's beautiful, isn't it? You can see the silhouette vocal on the other side. I'll show you the other side. We've got some Dudleyas right here as well. We've got some Dudleyas here. And then 
You got uh, my full Adro Mish. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Adro Mishkis collection. They're doing really nicely. You can tell they're doing really nicely because they rooted and they drank water. Some of these are two to three years old, so they're pretty old. Um, this one is three years old. This is a South Clan, South Clan Williams. That's what it's called. But there's a lot of varieties of them, right? Um, but yeah, that's three years old. So let me show you. Yeah. Okay. It is. But yeah. So I'm into. Ad I love Adromischkis and I love Euphorbias, Monodeniums, and uh, Aloes these days. So look, look at that white ghost. That looks spectacular, doesn't it? Spectacular. Okay, anyways, and here are some of my collections, collectible stuff. I can't see because of the light, but this is a Cultilidon Vergata, more Cultilidon, more Cultilidons. Dang, why do you have so many? I don't know. And more Cultilidons. Um, I have a Superba Monstrous form. So instead of a regular form, it looks monstrous. Right? Um, Pachyphylum or Moonstones, variegated moonstones, Pachyveria compacta variegata as well. Graptiver benici variegata, right? And more like uh, this is this is called a sedum reflexum variegata. Very beautiful. Sedum something, sedaveria something, something something. Oh, and this is a sedum pachyphylum variegata. How do I have one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then I got a Beyonce. Everybody loves Beyonce. Beyonce Rainbow. Oh, sorry. Beyonce Rainbow. Right? And I have a bunch of other Echeverias. Like, I think this is an Etna. This is a Calubra Mahogany Rose right here. I got a Booby Cactus. You know, I don't discriminate. I love the D, but I don't discriminate, you know? Everybody got nice boobies. Right? Everybody loves their boobies. I got a nice booby cactus right here because everybody has been always asking me like, "Thing, can you get me cactus uh, booby cactus?" And this year I got them a the booby cactus, so they love that, right? And then out there is all the echeverias that love the sun. So we got the duna, we got kissing, we got Minig uh, okinas something, dragonus, agaboides. Uh, Mexican giants out there too. It's hard to see because it's like it's so far reached for me. But yeah, anyways, so this is one of my favorite hybrid. I'm gonna show you. Today. This is an Echeverria Chaviano Rainbow. One of my favorite ones because it's a very, very strong hybrid versus a lot of the other variegate ones that I got in and they all kind of died. Like this spot right here is meant for the Black Prince variegated. But look, I bought three in and only one still alive. So it's not a hybrid that I would um, recommend buying because they do they're very dainty and they die very fast that's why i don't sell them anymore right you got a euphobia trigona um mint cream or variegata right there more var variegated stuff i think this is cream tea right here uh, my minogosa ong is here too i just got that new one this is a crispa beauty i love this crispa beauty i just got that in too a Canties right here um, and you got more stuff you got the pink champagne that I got from succulentia a few years ago I propagated now it's like it's actually alive now <laughs> uh, and a few other things more a few more echeverias that we don't really care for okay so let's let's go look at the other stuff I'm just moving I'm just moving the chair sorry okay so I love this corner right here as you can see this corner is probably my favorite corner out of the whole entire garden because it looks very intertwined. It looks like I'm actually in nature. It looks like a coral reef as well. It's just very spectacular. I just leave them like this and I just water on top. Um, and it's been so beautiful, especially during the spring and then summer and now the fall is coming. The, all the colors is gonna change. It's so beautiful right okay so let's see what's uh what something should i mention okay so this is my euphorbia fun little balls and dick collection here um so you got 
the Geometrus cactus right here, Obessa. I got Peyote monstrous form right here as well. Uh, Euphorbia stellatas, love the leaf, right? Euphorbia Giovanni, I think, and Totorama right next beside each other. This is a aloe arborescence elbow variegation. So it's almost pure variegation. It's taken so long for it to grow. It does have a little baby on the side. We'll see what happens. Mondadenium shrubi, another obessa. This is a Setosa Kirin. I love this plant. Um, I got it in <clears throat> for everyone and then I kept the smallest one for myself. But look, it is so gorgeous. So gorgeous now. So gorgeous. And this one here is one of my favorite. This is called a Euphorbia Pasonii. I keep telling Laura what it's called, but she keeps forgetting what it's called. Woman, seriously. But anyways, but it is beautiful. The only downside to this plant itself is that when it gets colder, so when it gets down to 10 degrees Celsius, it starts losing all its leaf. So I have to bring this in before it gets down to that, so that way it doesn't lose its leaf love it because every single year I lose all the leaves and I have to start over again sucks anyways and you got a bunch of echeverias here you got this is my uh, Pluto don't remember the name you got the haku hole the haku hole right now is currently blooming very gorgeous and beautiful right you got um, hold on, the blue spurs right here um, you got more of the I think Etna's and Dragonus uh, right there, you got my Acavoides right here, very beautiful. You got the orange, sorry, the Monroe right here, it's huge. Yes, they can grow that huge if you let them. Uh, and you got like two Minigos right here, I love these plants. One there, one there as well. This one's blooming, that one's blooming into two. Um, you got another Lactia White Ghost right here. You got a, what is, what is in there? Oh, that is a, supposed to be a rainbow something, rainbow sunset. Anyways that and you got like more crassulas here as well oh hold on let me put this aside okay you got more crassula you got like the babe fantasy here you got um what is this called pink butterfly this is called a baby surprise love it superbum regular one um hermity i think right crassula moneymaker vergata crassula candy cane crassula Justice, got more Crassula, Crassula ovata o golem variegata. So the regular variegated and the white variegated are both in here. And then over there, that's my Helen Coe Luce variegata as well. You got the Aeonium Sunbur Starburst or Florence. This is my Portolacia uh, Afra variegata. You got like more pink butterflies, more variegated Crassulas. I'm I'm really into Crassulas. <laughs> More than you think. I have a lot more Crassulas than more than you think. And they never really die. Uh, you got a Crassula brevifolia and brevifolia variegata. So two of them in the same pot. My jelly beans is doing good. I don't know. <laughs> Show me my jelly beans. I don't know if you can see my jelly beans. They're doing okay. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Oh, and then I got a... You see there? This is a Euphobia midformis variegata. It's giving me so many babies. Um, that's why like, I never care about like if I keep the babies or not. I just, I just give the people, if they order it, and if there's babies, I just give them to them because I don't care. Because um, they come out really super early. I got this, I think, in like April or May. Look at this. It's so nice. It's September right now. And then you got the Euphobia hardiensis, more Crassula, Crassula volkensi, Crassula something variegata as well. Uh, titty nipples. Right? Ooh, look how beautiful this Mondadenium is. Look at this. That is beautiful, isn't it? I just, I, I just don't understand why people don't buy it more. It's so gorgeous. And then I got a huge white ghost right there. That's actually mine. I mean, I'm keeping that one. The other one I'm selling. Then you got um, Crassula, what, Lemon Lime? And then you got the Crassula Mercury Vingen, and then a few Aeoniums here. And this spot here is a bunch of Mondadeniums and a bunch of things <laughs> that I've kind of like squished together, okay? I don't remember what this is called, uh, but it is a Euphobia subspecies. All right, Patty still wants one. I need to propagate the one. This is a Patalanthius something variegata. So it's not very variegated, but whatever. It's still nice to have. And you got 
uh, the Crassula Ovada tricolor there, and then you got like um, the bear paws and bear paws variegated in there too. You got I also have the fan aloes looking nice today. This is a new addition. This is called a uh, Mondadenium arborescens. So they bloom really spectacular because this is the bloom of the Mondadenium cosiana right now, and it's been blooming for months. So it is absolutely stunning. Um, and then I got right there in there is the my white rhino my aloe simoliensis variegata my aloe brevifolia variegata like that is beautiful right this is a mangave uh, chocolate cherry yeah um, and then I got the aloe filifla filifalera striata it's like ow I can't you can't see it you can't see it because it's it's whatever anyways and then you got a euphobia milii vergata splendid or fireworks right lots of variegated stuff here um what is this thing here oh yeah that's that okay this is the aloe arborescence but like it's variegated but it's not super variegated as the other one it does have the genetics it's just very low variegation this is a mondadenium spectable mm-hmm crassula tematosa uh, Senecio Semper Vivum, look how beautiful that is, right? And then in there is the Crassula, babe, Crassula Jade Necklace. I know I squished them in there, and then I got like the water, Senecio's watermelons seed as well. And then you got variegated strings of pearl, variegated strings of tears. Uh, the ruby necklace is dead this year, don't worry, I'll, I'll revive it, <clears throat> it's not a problem. Look at this, the sedum morganus, right? The, the sedum that I like. Harry Butterfield, the one that I like, it's right here, it's very beautiful. Crassula Volkens, uh, Calic, whatever, don't care. Um, oh, I got a aloe spiral, spiral aloe this year. I had two, but one of them caught aloe mite or aloe cancer, so I had to throw the other one out. You never keep it. If it has, if it has like a little aloe mite, you just throw it out. You don't bother keeping it, because then it can spread to your other aloes, and that's not good. And this is just an aloe, something something you can find this in the store the reason mine is like um, mine is like purple and blue it's because I have it under LED light normally it's supposed to be, be green and red yeah and you have, I have another white rhino right there and then this is a uh, agave um, what is it Toma Varbella it's very beautiful when it's grown up and my blue my blue bluebird it's looking very sad very very sad I know but that's okay that's a circle of life they live and they die that's fine uh, and then I got some Dahlia Dahlia's I love them they're very very cute right very very super cute let me zoom in there you go very very super cute right I got those and this one is called a Echeveria blue wave or blue light I think it's a better version of the Canty I like this more because it gives you um, better texture, better. It's a it's a better looking plants, right? So that's why I like this one more. Anyways, so over here is where you find my agave attenuata variegata. I finally found a space for it. It's so beautiful this year. I need to repot it because it's breaking its pot. <laughs> it's literally just breaking its pot. So I gotta find a new a new home for it. I mean a new pot for it. <clears throat> Anyways, so last year I bought some uh, Hoyas and then I sold some Hoyas off. Just to pay, just to pay for the Hoyas that I bought. Um, but I got a, what is this? This is a Hoya Sunrise. The reason why it's called Sunrise is because it gets red like this, right? It gets red with the sun. It's very beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I leave it here because now it gets the most sun at this spot so that way that way it can change colors very nice and easily then i got the burrow's tail very nice watered a lot <clears throat> this is a hoya carnosa carnosa uh, queen and it has three of the flowering nodes one two and three somewhere it flowers all the time and people tell me it smells nice but it smells like shit <laughs> To me, anyways, but I love the flowers because it looks like plastic. It looks like I've just put the flowers on there, but it's very cute. Anyway, so this is a ho uh, what is this? Hoya, uh, 
Hoya Astralis uh, Lisa. It came in, then it died, and then it just came back. Now it looks quite fantastic. Right? This is a Hoya Curry, 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 Curry uh, Margiana Spotted Leaf. Very beautiful. I can't touch this plant because every single time I touch it, I like, break off like one of those, one of the, um, one of the the baby leaves and it doesn't grow the leaves so i need to stop touching this plant period <laughs> and let it grow <laughs> this is the this is the reason why i bought all the hoyas is for this 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 hoya itself this is called the hoya calistaflaya short leaf i bought two of them just in case like one of them died but both of them survived and both of them were really great so i sold off the other one i don't remember if this one or the other one has the flowering nodes I don't remember. Anyways, and this is uh, Sawalasis uh, 8867. Very beautiful leaves. Huge leaf. Look at that, right? Huge, gigantic leaf. I love, I love the new leaf because it's so red, dark red, dark brown when it comes out. Love those, right? And then we got um, more Crassulas here. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you, like, I have a lot of Crassulas. Out of all the plants I have, I have the most Crassulas ever. We got a bunch of crassulas here. Uh, don't know the names. Don't remember the names of some of them. But here's one. This is the the uh, baby necklace variegated. So not the not like the fantasy one. It's it's the yellow variegation instead of like the pure white variegation. This is my crassula astani. Let me zoom in. There you go. Crassula astani. It's taken two years for it to give me two balls. Not doing anything with it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I let it ride. Right. Uh, Crassula Springtime Vergata, Crassula Moonglow Six Side. Unfortunately, you can't propagate this. If you do, it just goes back to normal. So you just leave it alone. You buy it and you leave it alone. Right? And you get a bunch of other Crassula, Polymer, Bakia, something. Moonglows Variegated, Crassula Morgan's Beauty Variegated. All right? Um, my friend gave me this. No, not this one. This ice plant right here, Variegated, because I have this one. So she gave me this one. So yeah. Uh, and then you got my conophytums right here. They're still alive. This one is like uh, hibernating, so it's coming back to life now. And yeah, so I used to have the adramiscus here, but unfortunately, the pigeons decided to come here this year um, to munch on my adramiscus, which kind of sucks. So I had to replace my adramiscus with some sharp astrolobas and haworthias. So when they land, they get poked. Yeah, yep. Got more Adramiscus here. These are my pure variegated aloes, black gems, and midformis, pure variegated, right? Um, and then you got Astroloba collections right here. This is an Astroloba hairy eye, very beautiful. Um, I don't remember this one, I don't remember the name of this one, but these ones you can cut a bitch with, like literally, they're very sharp. You can use them as weapons, right? And this one, I, I really like this one because it changes colors. I really love this one, it changes colors. And these are the other um, Haworthias you've already, I've already told, showed you. This is this one's for my friend. This one's for my friend, she loves it. And you got more stuff. Right, okay, let's move on. We're almost done. It's so long, right? And these are my Sansevieria. So I was thinking of making another video um, to show you my full Sansevieria collection and why I buy them. Um, because I have a lot of sense of areas too, right? So I can't go through them, all of them. So this is a midnight fountain, very beautiful. Uh, that's a huge, the one back there, that's a huge Cleopatra. Uh, this is a Manny Tower right here, it's getting bigger. That's a baseball bat. This is a Parva Lancet, full variegation. This is a Fufamon, random stuff, Balia. Right, and then oh, and then you got more Hoyas here. This is a Macrophylla variegata or pot of gold. I think this is the one that has the uh, the flowering node. I don't remember. I sold two of them. One of them had a flowering node, two flowering nodes. I sold it too early. I, I wanted to see what it flowers like. This is a huge Hoya carii variegata, uh, med center variegation. It's very huge, it's growing as well. So I can't touch that. If I touch that. The leaves will break off, I'm gonna be sad again. I hate them when that happened. And then down here, we have miscellaneous sensivarius I don't really care about. This is a sensor Saswandi. 
everybody should have this for their office. This is a very statement type of sense of error. It's very beautiful, especially when we're grown up. Very beautiful when we're grown up. Yeah, so I, sh I should make another video about all the sense of areas. Um, Cause a lot of them are, this is a sense of a katana. Uh, something that you should have in your, your collection as well. It's very beautiful. The leaves are firm and it's just, it's just beautiful. It grows really big as well. Lavranos. Uh, Robusta right here, uh, Royal Crown right there as well. This year I got a Sensiveria Labranos 24977. Been looking for that one for quite a while. It's very expensive, um, but someone decided to sell it. My, one of my sellers decided to sell it to me, so I'm super happy. Uh, this is an Aloe Arborescent, sorry, not Aloe Arbors. Sensiveria Arborescent, very beautiful. Don't move this into the sun fast. There's pigeons, give me a moment. Pigeon, go away, go away. Stupid pigeons. Anyways, sorry about that. I hate pigeons. Uh, this is a sense of arborescence. Very, very beautiful. Something you should have in your collection as well. Uh, this is a sense of Gabriella. Something you should also have in your collection. It's very beautiful. Um, what else? Notable ones. Oh, Cordova. Very beautiful. Kirky Vergadas right there. Silver Rose. Um, this is a blue clone white vergata, very beautiful. This is a Sensiveria Pina Colada. No, no. Pina Gui Gui, I can't pronounce the name. Uh, unicorn form, very beautiful as well. And this is a Sensiveria Bella X, Bella X Lady Charm. Super beautiful plant. Super, and then you got the Francisci right here. It's gotten so big this year. This is three years old. It's so huge this year, right? I actually have to use like um, spikes to hold it up. But yeah, and then this is an Ala Rom Romissimo. Very nice this year as well. Very, very beautifully nice. Um, you got more Sensiveria, Sensiverias. This is a Mondadenium Magnifica. It's about to bloom. So it has one, two, three, four, four bloom stalks coming out. I'm waiting to see what it looks like. It's supposed to be magnificent. That's why I think that's why it's called Magnifica. Yeah, Magnifica. So waiting for that, and then you got more sense of errors here, miscellaneous stuff that I have to keep because they, they look like crap. Like hits on them. <laughs> and then oh yeah, so these sense of errors are spectacular ones. I've been looking for them for two years, and I finally found a seller to sell them. It didn't matter the cost of the money at all because these are a spectacular specimen. So this is a Sensiveria Dancing Dragon, Sensiveria Chofaya, Sensiveria Channon right here. So if you want to look up the name what it looks like, they look spectacular. And honestly it didn't matter the price tag for me for them. It mattered some of them doesn't matter about the price tag, right? But they weren't that expensive. Um, and the funny thing is that the first round when I was selling the dancing dragon there was like 20 of them not many not that many wanted to buy and then the second round everybody wanted to buy but there was like such limited quantity amount of them right so <sighs> whatever that's a rorita vergata i got myself a beautiful big one nice you deserve it thanks thank okay thank you johansenberg vergata royal crown vergata right and then down here are the new edition this is a sensiveria Dragon Jade Vergata. Uh, its leaf is thick, so we'll see what happens when it gets bigger. This is a Sensiveria Marsha Ajani Vergata. Something I don't know why no one wanted to buy. Oh, probably because it's out of their league. Or, well, it wasn't that expensive to me, anyways. Okay, and then you got another Sensiveria uh, Asalam right there. And then our aloe that we use for dessert is here and it's gotten bigger this year so yay we might have some dessert during the winter time superb but yeah that's the tour that is the tour that's this plant this year has been spectacular for me uh, when it comes to enjoying my plants because um i don't have to worry about pest i don't have to worry about mixing match and whatever everything's been growing really well i've lost a few echeverias because they're just dainty um but yeah my mom loves her vegetable garden this year i'm sure you love it too right spectacular so this year it's just 
It's just been a lot of me, me just sitting there listening to music, enjoying my plants, right? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Uh, ooh, look at this. This has, this has a flower already. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's interesting. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you want me to do a separate video for all the type of plants that I have so I can talk about those ones. Um, but yeah, we'll get we'll pump up some more videos because I do have a few more ideas to pump out that I wanted to do during the sorry during the summer, but I just kind of didn't. But yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya, bye.